right guys we're back to paint the old witch and uh first color we're going to use is transparent chartreuse okay this is a u.s air art supply airbrush color and uh, i thought this green turned out really good really good on her so i'm going to use the same green but i think we're going to do a different color dress and we're still going to do the gray hair so we're going to do i think we're going to do like a magenta dress on this one just to make her a little different and again I'm using transparent colors I just found that uh, for me um, it, I can get a little thinner paint and I don't have to water it down as much and, um, and that way I don't have to uh, put on a couple coats just to get the desired Desired look I'm after that stained look wood stained look I've been playing around with these transparent paints I use them on my airbrushing and I really like in the way they paint on my wood too so yeah unless it's a color I can't get I probably won't be using much of the apple barrel or the or the um folk art paints unless it's a color I can't mix or I can't make or can't get um, the US airbrush supply has pretty much a lot of colors I mean a lot of colors so I would say they probably have more colors than than the um, apple barrel or the folk art I don't know but I'm really, I just really like the way they paint. I like the way they dry back. And I like the fact that I don't have to keep watering them down and get an inconsistency. At least for me, like I've said before, I'm not, I'm not, when it comes to painting carvings, I'm definitely still learning that game. But I found out these make it a little easier for me. For sure. And I like the way they dry back too. Because I can go on if I want a little darker, I can put another coat on without without worrying about getting it inconsistent. Oh, the loud dog's here today, so Alright, there's the green. Like our little chin protrudes out there. It looks pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the gray next. We're going with uh, this is Createx airbrush colors, and this is medium gray. And you can get these at Hobby Lobby. The Createx you can. They're U.S. Art Supply. You have to order, but they have a bunch of paint sets. They're a little pricey but I mean for me I have to buy them anyway for my lures because I can't spray that other stuff through my through my airbrush so um since I gotta buy them anyway I'm thinking this is the Big boy, he's such a big baby. He's the youngest of five German Shepherds up there. And he's the biggest baby. All the others are females. And he is such a big baby. He whines. I'll probably have to cut here in a minute just because he's so noisy. I don't have to go up and get control of him a little bit. But like I said, he's the biggest baby I've ever seen for a shepherd. The other one's bark loud, but he's just a whiner. He whines if you don't get it out the door. He whines every time he 
think you're going to let him go. Let him go out. He'll whine till he gets to go out. Such a big baby. I'll show him all to you guys one day. Him and my other female gypsy, she's uh, they're the best frisbee dogs, man. You can throw that thing for miles, and they'll chase it down and catch it. It's crazy how good they are with it. And they just love to play, man. They love to chase that frisbee. I go through a lot of frisbees because they chew them up. German shredders is what we call them. About one of the most loyal dogs you can buy. He gets yelled at all the time. He's so hungry. He's less than a year old, but man, he's big and strong, and he's got a big old head on him. I think it's a little different gray than I used before. I don't remember which one I used now on the first one. I didn't didn't write it down in my project book. I will now. I mean, I got the got the project written in the book, but I don't have the paint colors down yet. I usually, uh, put it, put it, my size and everything in my book. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back and check out my project video book. Project, I'm um, sorry, pro wood carving project book. Because I use it. I'll show it to you guys one day. It's got almost all projects now that I've done because I went back and updated everything. And uh, it's just cool. I can put, like I've got all my upcoming projects in there all scheduled out. How I'm going to do them on video. And I just go to start going through the book. Of all the things that I want to do. And, uh, and when I finish them, I'll finish out the book. Page in the book. And I'll stick a. Little printed out photo of it. I'll definitely show you guys one day if you'd like to see that. I might do a video, like a follow up type video, on how the book's working out. I know I've sold some though, because I've seen on my Amazon that I sold some. So I'm sure I know some of you guys might have picked one up. Comment in the uh, comment in the comments if you've seen it or if you have one um and if you think you'd like to have one make a comment and maybe i'll pick somebody out of the comments to get a free book but comments are everything for us youtubers so we appreciate comments and comments help keep our channel active and lets us know what you guys are enjoying and And interacting with our channels. Not just mine, but all the channels. You should comment. Let them know what you think of their projects. Or what they're doing or what we're doing. It helps out a lot. It really does. I'm going to finish up this gray here. It's a really pretty quick, simple paint job for sure.
But like I always say, I appreciate all the subscribers and the comments and everybody that interacts with our channels. So I see a lot of the same people interacting in other in other channels and that's pretty cool that everybody gives support to all the, all the carvers. Alright, there's our hair. All done. I think we're going to go with the magenta dress and the magenta hat band. Just because I think it's, it's kind of pinkish purple. And it'll make her different than the other one. Try it out on the hat band first. Curious to see what it looks like. Yeah, I think so. It's going to look fine. Okay, I think we're ready for the black. Couple spots I missed. Last color we're going to use is deep black. Oops, sorry. U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Colors Deep Black.
I'm gonna have to pull out the camera. Paint this around this hat. Just so I can get those close up spots. Yeah, I think I'm liking that magenta on there. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull out of the camera for a minute and get these little close spots, and then I'll bring you back and show you the finished piece. Actually, let me get the shoes real quick. Shoes are in black. I'm going to pull out of the camera and get the close-up spots and touch up a couple spots that I can't hardly see over the camera. But uh, we'll finish that up, and I'll bring you back and show you the finished finished pieces all right i'll bring you right back okay friends here's the final the final paint job the camera a little bit there's the final paint job all right so colors we used on the first Old Witch was a deep purple. The chartreuse I used for the face paint on both of them. I used the magenta on the dress and the hat band for the other girl. And I used medium gray for the hair color. And then a deep black for the uh, the hats. Alright. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you get to carve a bunch of them. And I uh, appreciate everybody subscribe like and hit that notification bell so you get notified when i put up the next video all right thanks everybody for watching mm -hmm.